Hello, Mr. George. I'm Sheriff Bell. Hi. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Good. My deputy told me to call in a report about seeing something the night of the murder. Yeah, yeah. I seen her running right through here. She almost knocked me over. She was scared out of her wits. She? Mm -hmm. Are you talking about Bonnie Jean? No, no. It was that no talking girl. The one working for old Lady Warren. No talking girl? Mm -hmm. Oh, Helen, would you mind doing me a favor? Would you take this down there to our sun goddess? Oh, by the way, Master Stephen has ordered a sit-down dinner for tonight. Formal china, silver, the works. I set in the table for four. Philip asked me to include you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank God. I am parched. So, Helen, you're pretty new around here, right? I'm new, too. Steve and I just got together, like, a few weeks ago. So what do you think about Emma? She's quite a character, isn't she? You know, she was rather cool when I met her. But uh, I can understand her being protective of Stephen, given the fortune he stands to inherit. And I hear it's quite a bundle. Although... He hasn't mentioned any specific numbers. You wouldn't know anything about that. Now, Philip, he's positioned himself pretty well. I bet he's not losing any sleep. I bet you're not losing any sleep either. I've seen the way he looks at you. spokesperson for the county sheriff's department has just confirmed the identity of last night's murder victim. Her name is Bonnie Jean Clark. She's a native of Grays Harbor County. The sheriff's office reported it has no new lead. Terrible. That's just terrible. A woman was murdered last night in the heart of Westport. You just can't be too careful these days, especially when you leave the island. Don't go anywhere at night alone. Hello there. Wow. Now that's what I call delicious. Mm. Stephen tells me you used to sit down to a formal dinner every night. Yes, until father died. Then things got a lot less formal around here. Yeah? How did he die again? Lost at sea. He took a sailboat out one day and never came back. Yeah. I never thanked you for the magazine. Thank you. Well, I hope everyone stays room. Mm. Oh, I'm stuffed. You hardly ate a thing. Yeah, it's when I drank all that wine. You know how many calories there are in red wine. You know, I'll bet you Helen doesn't obsess over calories, do you? Looks to me like you got one of those naturally flawless bodies. Flat stomach, just enough curve at the hip, and what? C cup? That is enough. <laughs> Philip to the rescue. You're always drunk. You're right. But I still know an act of chivalry when I see one. Bravo. You know, this really may be a good time to wrap this. <laughs> well, why don't you go ahead? But I want Helen to stay. I want to get to know you a little better. It's this, uh, silence thing. Does that mean that you don't make any noise when you're having... Hey! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Philip! You should really try to control your temper. It might get you in trouble someday. <gasps> That's oh. enough. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to chase after her. <laughs> hey! Hey! Helen, I'm sorry. I just cannot allow him to get away with that. 
I hope this doesn't affect how you feel about living here. But this, you're the best thing to happen to this house in the years. What, no takers? Sarah, you have done it again. That salmon was terrific. I can clear the dishes up later. No, 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 that's all right. I have to go upstairs anyway. Um, I have work to do. Sarah said I'd find you down here. Uh, Emma wants to see you up at the house, ASAP. They've upgraded the storm to Category 2. We may be in for it. I can't imagine it. It's too horrible. Oh, Helen. This is Sheriff Bell of Grays Harbor County. He's here to ask you a few questions, oh, dear. Ma'am. I never saw his face. Are you sure that somebody was following you? Not a hundred percent. Look. How did this witness know that Helen lived at the summit? Said she was friends with your cook. Oh, and you think there's a connection between the person who was following Helen and this murder? Same vicinity, same time frame. Our witness said that Miss Capel was uh, scared to death. Well, who wouldn't be? And someone's following you. <laughs> 